So yesterday on the House floor, I thought it was very important if we were going to have this conversation that we needed to have a real one. Um, I felt like that we kept having um, fake conversation. It was a fake argument here, fake argument there, fake arguments everywhere. Nobody really, really wanted to address the real issue, which is, therefore, we are different. Therefore, you want to treat us different. And I wanted to stand and let everybody know that this had nothing to do with marriage. This was a fundamental attack on human rights, and I, for one, was not going to stand for it. And you're entitled to your opinion. You're just not entitled to put it into the Constitution. And any time that you make policy to suppress people, you have all of the social ills that come out of it. Every time that we have ever had great change in this country is because of the fact that we have had great opportunity to be able to do that. This is one of those times. But when you are speaking to your family and to your coworkers and to your friends, it is very important to make sure that they understand that this is a dignity issue. This is a human rights issue. And saying it's okay for us to be out front. It's okay to fight for your dignity. That's always okay. Keep fighting, keep fighting for dignity. And we are voting what? Yes. So you have to get up. You have to make those calls. You have to do stuff that you don't normally do. Be extraordinary so you can have extraordinary outcomes. Always, always, always stand up for your dignity. Stand up for our dignity and talk about this straightforward. If you are a Christian, talk about it in terms of the Bible because I am a Christian, I am a person of faith, and I am here to declare there is nothing, nothing Jesus about that law. Not a thing. Hi, this is Representative Marcus Brandon, and I serve you in the North Carolina House for Guilford County. And I wanted to take the time to ask all voters to please vote no on Amendment 1. This amendment is not about marriage. It's not about anything other than making sure that we divide the constituents of our electorate and of our state. And that is not who we are as people. That is not who we are as North Carolinians. And it certainly is not who we are as Americans. That flag, that flag will always stand for freedom. And no matter what anybody tells you, and no matter what vote happens, they can never, ever take that away. Join me, the NAACP, and organizations all across this state, and constituents all across this state, and vote no on Amendment 1 on May 8th. Guys, please don't ever listen to the rhetoric that we cannot win that fight. We can win any fight. We've been here before. We'll be here again. We always have to fight.